The Walking Dead Part 9 The Telltale I don't really want to start new games because I have 12 games in uh, in progress. So I must finish like three, four, five games because it's not the best to uh, play in a row like 12 games right now. But. Um, Like Super Meat Boy, I need only one, one trophy, the hardest one. That's just practicing and training. That is Jump King, where I stuck. The trophy where I. the no fall trophy on the second or the first DLC. Neo. At the end. Soon, the hardest trophies. Yeah. But let's continue now with the walking. Let's see how it continues. Oh yeah, Lee and Kenny went to the river, maybe? Rest of the guys are stayed in the house. What we found? Talk about it? About what? Oh, and we didn't find Chuck. In the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, River's we... right up ahead. Can he's not talkative again? Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. hell is going on? I have no idea that someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. Holy shit. No fucking ship. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. I'll be trustful. I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. <coughs> this 
this one might still be salvageable. Oh, I don't want to make more angry, Kenny. Oh, seriously? You've got a better fucking idea. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Kenny is a little bit mad. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up, for all the good it did. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Oh, really? An abandoned newsstand. These markings They're all over the place. <coughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't check the telescope. Fuck. This is meant to be some kind of warning? Do something like this. Want, don't want to shoot them. Why should I do? Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? Uh, do I want to? This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Huh? Same markings. No. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Yes. So let's check the telescope, I guess. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Solid. That ain't gonna work. Don't think I'm gonna see anything until I find uh, a quarter. I need a quarter. What actually quarter means? It's like a coin? Or... Maybe if I go back to the cash machine right now and I can take some coin. Yeah. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Uh huh. Nope. So I can wander back. Close to Kenny. Yes. It's too dangerous out here. 
Okay. So we definitely need some coins. From... Uh... Looks like it's still intact. removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Definitely looks like a rush job. I kind of checked everything. Oh. <coughs> oh yes, only one. Okay. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? Well, that's what I'm asking too. Worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. That one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. I pushed the X button. No. Clem? Please don't hurt him. How could the, the fucking hero Kenny? You're not from Crawford. Look at Lee's eyeballs. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! Oh. 
last no, joke. He's with us. Somebody want to say something? Who the hell are you people? Kenny, back off. Unless you want this lady to give you another asshole. Who are you calling lady? The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. Oh my god, my stomach. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? Tell me what the fuck is Crawford, yeah. Didn't know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you wanna know? Mm-hmm. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it Grandpa. straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks for them. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Eeks. Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Uh, that was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Yep. Right. Just right. Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. 
Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a... Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please! Come on, make it fast! Why are you looking at them? Why don't you move? One good jump. Why don't you jump on the bumpster? Come on, Lee! Get uh, your ass out of there! Can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Drainage pipe. Uh, let's see this first. Lock. Can I hear the zombies? Oh, my fucking God. Oh. some kind of drainage pipe. For what? Oh, it's luring them there. Good thing I'm out here. And not in there. Mm -hmm. Seems loose. I'm 
back now, but uh, I think... Okay, that's not a good way to go, because the stream was red. red. This guy is... Ho oh, ho ho! Nope. Won't go anymore in that direction. So let's try left. Don't tell me anymore in that direction. Nope. Oh, I. Take it. But, uh, where they are the Half-eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Can I? Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Uh, what the fuck now? They will see me, no? But which way? To the right. I think no. Or maybe I should have run back now. Many are them. That's it. Is there any more? Still fucking one more. Oh my god, Chuck. Oh my god. Chuck, he must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Take his pistol. Oh. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. What happened? Are you kidding me? No, no, the pistol when I fucked up. I fucked up. I don't want it to use a pistol. That's fucking good. That's a real fucking big problem. Uh. Take it. So what? Look 
get the moves. What are you doing, man? Back, go back. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Where, where am I? Where? I'm dead. Uh, fuck, I missed the first shot. Because I don't want it to shoot, I just want it to... I didn't see the icons. <coughs> no. Okay, now... Yes, like this. Yeah, it's better now. The fuck the, the the icons. It's so bullshitty. Okay, so we have time now to figure out what the fuck should we do. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. No way I could pick that up on my own. able to do this it's just a sign ah! the not just a sign That's how I shoot. <sighs> Run away or escape. Where the hell we are now? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Uh, and it's really dark. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. So we are in a bad area, I guess. Yes. Oh. Hello. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. <coughs> I, I don't want any oh. trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? Look, the old man hands are shaking Sorry. like... You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll Shut do the if fuck they up, you. down here right under their feet? Uh, Damn it. Biggie like right. woman. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Shut the Nobody fuck up, you bitch. To get shot. Just take it easy. Uh. It's alright. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? 
Look at that woman. Man. I hate this kind of woman. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Oh, really? Uh... Ah. The sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Sides, why should we help you? Oh my god, this woman. Because this is your other option. Sorry, oh. friend. I'm not buying it. Vern, what are you doing? I've seen my share of murderers since this all started. Seen too many. If he was the type to do violence, he'd have done it already. I'm calling you bluff. Your move. No. Wait, listen to me. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Fossil? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Okay, Omid must you die. A man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. A worm on. Oh, 
Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Yeah, where is Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Really? Why should I use the sofa? Clementine? Clem, you in here? Anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Clem's drawings. But where is she? Don't tell me you will sit down. I'll have time to rest later. Doesn't look like she's in here. Okay. Let's check. Clementine, you here? This bedroom first. Clem? Clementine? Uh. <laughs> Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> Sounded like another thing they do. Clementine, where are you? Okay, chill. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey. Do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Clementine? No sign of her in here. Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with what me! What the fuck is she Go doing, by the way? What's under me? that bed? Jesus. Clementine, you up there? Okay. Down. I just want to check everything. Clementine! Oh, look at those Clementine! moves. Come out, please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. The hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? 
Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Fuck is Clementine. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damn if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Where the fuck is she? For real, where, where the fuck is she? Oh! Zombie? Oh my god. What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! What's that? It's a fucking boat. Drunken Kenny. Doctor is still here, he told it, huh? <coughs> Omid oh, doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. <sighs> I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound. He's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? 
I'm drunk well, on my clothes. You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay. That's not bad. That's better. <coughs> I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't of know course, about fuck you, Ben. I'd take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answer. I really prayer. don't like Ben anymore. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I'm not lying. I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't know what to say. Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. 
and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Now I don't know if it was a good choice or not. But if I say her no, then she will fucking come. Moment. Be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue a little bit more. So we are going. Check out what I found in the garage. Crow for hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30 footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Claire, Krista, only Finn. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Oh my god, this fucking moon no move on. is this? This is Bree, she can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? Yes, me. Not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Oh my god, Ben. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Oh, of course not. Jesus Christ, Lee. Oh, of course not. Jesus Christ, Lee. Let's go. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Interacts, man. What 
so Crawford is like nothing uh, more than zombies. Definitely. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. <sighs> no. This is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get it's the bad. hell out of here? I don't like this guy anymore. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Like this big evil man too. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Armory. Big evil man. Here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using oh my god, person. why why this woman needed to be here? I How could figure it that? figure it out. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, sure. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. 
Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting okay, you in charge yeah, of it, okay? Together. You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. No. No. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. Yes, I don't know what it is. Probably be at the auto shop out through here. Fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Hopscotch. Creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Yeah, finally. That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Ken. <coughs> Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. Shut this up. Again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Look, Ben, I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katya and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. <sighs> not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. 
There's just no way to know. I hope so. Yep. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Just a bunch of paste. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Yeah, nothing else left. Let's go. Got those things. Where is everybody right now? be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Shut the fuck up. Playground, no. Want to go in there? Shell casings? What? Oh, I am. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. They've already been fired. They're worthless. The same? Oh. Let's check this locker. Can't open it without the combination. Okay, let's go first through our way. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Out here? Yes, I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. That's right here, no? Oh, what the fuck, man? Why is Shiba running there? Damn. Holy shit. Uh, I don't think so. No. Why should I? It will break, I think. What the fuck? I think I have to. to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. There is no fucking door. Damn, it's jammed tight. Too close. Okay. 
Okay. What the? Leave him. He's mine. Where the hell have you been? What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. <sighs> He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Of course. Oh yeah, that'll work. Better be fast, no? X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X What the fuck is still alive? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Well, let's see. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Let me talk to Molly first. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Got your promise now. Not a scratch. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. But I guess it's not working. No power. So I 
I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's nice. That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Uh... Off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Really? Hey, a battery? Yes, and you can run like this, of course. Now, what the fuck is this? Move your ass. Jumping with a battery like this. Now it's a fucking. I don't really understand this. It's okay. What it is? Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. <clears throat> With a battery, she's like doing these Come jumps on, and climbing Jump. in the back. Uh, chicken. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it, Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Moment.
I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I just was at the toilet. question is oh. what are they doing you guys need any help thanks but I think we're almost in we're taking care of it Lee don't worry you sure you two don't need any help we're taking care of it Lee don't worry okay other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Look at how happy is that piggy woman. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. The bry. Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, I thought there might be some hope. All this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not Situation. Talk too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. You're busy with what? You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Can only 
talk to Ben. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? How are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. They are doing fucking nothing, just... Oh my god. What the fuck should I do now? Where did they come from? Tell me, those zombies. Really? I have to shoot them? Perfect. Strike. Wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. <sighs> Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. That it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. She must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc, uh... I just wanted to thank you for coming with us, and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. 
I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. What is that on there? Put the cassette in. Moment. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Hey, Krista. Yeah. Are you making any progress with the I am. No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omid didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but... Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with him... That is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! Okay. You're right. I'm sorry. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up... Oh, you... come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Look, Lee. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Okay. The way this camera set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it caught someone punching it in. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta <coughs> keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. Oh, no, really? Gone. But that, that zombie didn't die. Still alive. Really? I have to go out there? No tape inside. Holy shit, are you kidding me, huh? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Oh my god. How is that zombie still alive, by the way? Because... 
when I went to the sewer first time and the fucking zombie just fall into me it died but it, and it's less higher from the roof like this interesting Fucking interesting. <sighs> we are doing the same right before. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. Holy fuck. Ah. Uh. This is definitely the guy. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Oh, this is no Logan. Yes, Logan. Must have been Logan. Fucking cassettes. Cassette. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. What the fuck? No. 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 I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Thank you. 
We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. You are fucking running across with a battery in your bag. Back. What's that? Nothing. Quit with the Ag Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. 
Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I Sarah. heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? Oh just my... It. it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back. You fucking idiot. <laughs> shit! Holy shit, Ben. Wasn't me. Oh, that's... Nice shot. oh my god, that's why I was thinking I didn't shoot. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty, lay off, man! It didn't mean for any of this to happen. It was all just a mistake. I don't give a fuck! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Ah, oh, fuck yes. Of course you do. And it's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Fuck you, Ben. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Yes, you die. Nice. Finally. You don't vote for... Oh my god, what the fuck, by the now way? Now can we go? Damn right. 
Vernon, come on! Jesus. Why is that big woman must vote you? She don't know anything. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! Nope. Ah, fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! for the zombies too down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Move go, your go. Asses. Krista? 
Everything okay? Oh, me! Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Sure. Everybody shut up. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay. With a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had no. kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. Clementine will stay with me. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me sounds like it'd be pretty crowded and I never did like the water you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. 
You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Ah. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? 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 Clementine! God. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I think that was good that I checked the bin first. Did you get beaten? Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. 
Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, you have to find her. Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. Lee, man, are you sure that's how you want to do this? I'm sure. This is on me, no one else. Thanks for understanding. It's better this way. We'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure we can wait there until you get back. my fault. <coughs> Good luck, Lee. I mean that. Yeah, man. Good luck. No one of them says I'm coming with you. We don't care. I don't care what are you saying, fuckers. Interesting. Fucking god. Why it did. Don't tell me they stole Clementine. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. The steel. Give her back and nobody Clementine. needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What? I pushed the X, you are fucking dead. I plan ultimate trophy. And I pushed the X button at the end. You are fucking dead. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Yeah. No? Only 25%? Really? Oh my god, only 18% of the players hide the bite. Interesting. <laughs> what the fuck? Who came with you? Like 
to look for Clementine. I'm walking alone. I am alone, guys. Fucking interesting. <sighs> this will be the end of this part. Ah, we got the trophy, we finished. Chapter 1, Episode 4. Interesting. Interesting. I really like it right now. It's getting better and better. Fuck yeah. Interesting choices, interesting things. I'm going alone, only 6% of the players. a lot we got the trophy too okay so we will continue from episode 5 no time left be back <laughs>